What's going on out there, good people? It is your boy, Look Around with LMD Trading. Coming at you again today with another daily trade review. We will be reviewing trades taken on April 25th, April 25th, 2022. Boy, oh boy, we gave some money away today, but it still was a green day. Nonetheless, but we need to fix this. We need to fix this. Need to pay attention to details. That's that's really what I could take from today is paying attention to detail. We took a trade that was a trade that we wanted to take, but we didn't want to take, if that makes sense to you. Let's go ahead. Let's get the um get the charts pulled up. See what we were looking at today. Today was a fairly thin thumbnail watch list, as you can see. We had VXX on the chart to go higher today. And it faded down. And then it finally made a move above the previous day's high. And we did take a trade on VXX. What I think was a fairly decent trade. So we will look at that at that time. We had SOXS, I think I said that right, Socks, on the watch list. It was gapping up. We see that it just chopped around. Didn't take a trade on that. We had Microsoft on the list to go low today, to go low. Microsoft faded back above previous days low, and it made a nice move but we didn't take a trade on that. XOM was gapping way down and it just kind of chopped around. Didn't really, didn't really present anything. SBFM, we took a trade on this pre-market in our other account that we trade stocks in and we made money on that one. That was a good trade. The Qs, no trades on the Qs and we did take two trades on the spy so let's go ahead pull up trader view let's take a look at the particulars again april 25th monday we took three trades closed p l 58 dollars we traded vxx small green trade what I believe should be a solid trade on the charts, the SPY. Oh, this trade right here should not have been. This one should not have been. I guess I can go ahead and talk about it while we're looking at it here. This trade here, I wanted to buy a call. And I had loaded a put in the puts watch list so we were good on that i was looking for the spy to go lower initially so i had went ahead and preemptively loaded a put up in the put watch list had clicked it so it loaded it into the active trader the spy made a different move than what i had anticipated so I loaded a call up in the watch list, but I did not click it to bring it into the active trader. You know the rest. Let's go ahead. Let's get the charts pulled up. If you haven't already hit that thumbnail watch list, please do so. What are you talking about? If you hadn't hit that like button. <laughs> if you hadn't hit the like button, please hit the like button. That's what I meant. Hit that like button. Um, if you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. Like I said, I review these trades every day. Um, you're going to see the good ones, the bad ones, the mess ups. You're going to see it all. And in between, hopefully you can get some information from these trades that I take. But we have the spy pulled up here. This is what the spy looked like today. Don't really know what to say about it. It's decent. Made a decent move once it cleared the VWAP over here. We took a trade over here somewhere. But let's go ahead. Let's get the VXX out the way. That was our first trade today. Um, 
BXX, we got in this trade at 9.58 this morning. And again, we're going to look at it, find our entry on the one minute, and then I'll switch over to the two minute to actually see what it was looking like. And possibly could have taken it off of the one minute this early. So let's see what we were seeing. We got in this one at 9.58. So let's see where 9.58 is at. 9.58 is this candle right here. So we see it faded. It made this nice move back up. Came back, tested the previous day's high. Came back up, pulled back. And we were wanting to get in. Here would have been a, a decent entry. Um, we did have this little, I call it an indecisive candle. But breaking the high of that one would have been decent. That would have been a decent entry. We missed it and we got in on the next candle. Actually giving us a little more confirmation with this green candle. But um, getting in on this candle. And... We got out of this trade at 10.03, 10.03. And I was kind of talking through this trade in Relentless tra um, relentless Traders chat room this morning. Um, this one always on my chart. This green line will always be on my chart. But I have marked this area pre-market, marked it pre-market. So getting in the trade, I knew coming up to here, we would hit a little resistance. And when this one left the topping tail, I went on and got out of the trade, made 22 bucks on it. Just basically took what this trade was giving us. Had it broke this area, possibly would have taken another trade. And we paid $64 per contract and we sold them for $75 per contract. So we made $22 off the trade. Not bad, not bad money, but... Let's take a peek at it on the two minute. Let's see what it looks like on the two minute. The two minute may give a, give a different picture. So we see came down just like we said, tested and held this area. And right here it was flagging on the two minute. So we see it flagging on the two minute. We are getting topping tails, but if we get in once it breaks this flag area, we're good. And that's what that was the play. Get in over this flag and then ride it up to this area and see what it does. So solid trade. Solid trade. I like I like the thought process on it and played it out the way that, that I thought it would play out. So that was our first trade. And then we sat around for about 30 minutes just kind of just chatting in 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 the um chat room and watching charts seeing what some other people were seeing and then just seeing what the spy was doing let's see i'm gonna go back to the one minute it'll it'll look better on the two minute i'm almost positive but this one here, we got in at 1029. So let's see where 1029 was at. 1029 would have been this candle right here. We got out of this one a minute later. One minute later, stopping out. I won't even say stopping out because we wanted to buy a call. Let me go ahead. I'll switch it over to the two minute. If you look at that, this thing just chopped around, chopped around. And then we get this wide range green candle. Nice wide range green candle followed by this little resting candle. This one here is probably getting in a little. Uh, nope. Let me see. Let's let let's see. So taking a three bar play, you want even highs. So the high of this candle here is 423. You got this little resting candle. It's 422.93. So it missed the top by seven cents. But you want to get in on the next candle that breaks the high of that candle. So let's see what this one is. Look at the high. 423. You can come right up here and see it. 
423, which was the same as that one. So that's what we were wanting to do. Get in when it breaks the high of that. It basically triggered us in, came back down, stop would have been right here. So not going to stop out. That's a good solid trade. Good three bar play. Look at what it did. Made the move, but we bought a put. And we lost $46 on that trade. Just giving money away. Literally just gave $46 away by not confirming that we had the right contract loaded into the active trader window. But, but, because that was a good trade, we saw what we were doing wrong or what we had done wrong. We got back in the trade. What a call. We got in at 1029 and 48 seconds now. So basically, once this thing had pulled back down. So we're getting in at a lower price because initially we should have took the trade there. So we got back in it down here somewhere possibly. Again, we're going to have our stop right there. So getting in right here. If we come back down and stop out, we'll lose a little bit of money. We're not going to lose the full move that it would have took to stop us out. And we got out of this one at 1037. Let's see where 1037. So we were getting out on this candle right here. So pretty much caught the entire move. Let's go back, look at it on the two minute. So again, Got in right here thinking we were buying a call. Wasn't the case. Stop was down here. That one just was going to stop us out. We ended up buying the call once that had pulled back because we had faith in the move. We had faith in this. This looked like a very good, um, very good setup there. Somewhat of the first move because on a three bar play, you don't want to buy this bar when it's extended like you don't want to buy this one at the top so think that this had made this move and now this big candle is forming at the top you don't want to buy it up there but this had chopped around and then this thing made this wide range bar breaking these pivots and coming back up to this pivot so decent three bar play messed up with the put put play but let's just get back in it. We're going to put the stop down there. We'll keep the stop where it initially was supposed to be. And look at what it did. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. And we made $82 on that trade. Made 82 bucks. I will say, had this been the initial call and we were getting in right there, we wouldn't have made as much because we would have been paying a little bit more for the contracts but it still would have been a great trade. So that was our third and final trade of the day. We did come back and sit back down in the afternoon and look at the spy. That's why you see I had put this line right here. I was looking for this thing to fade back down, tell you the truth. I was looking for it to fade back down. Didn't do it. And I just never took a trade on it. So no afternoon trade today. But that is our review. Starting the Monday off decent. Starting it off decent. Definitely could have been a little better. I think we could have done a little better on it. But still happy with it. No complaints. And we'll be ready for tomorrow. Making sure that we pay attention to what contract we have loaded up because that was a fairly costly, oh, I kick my camera, fairly costly mistake. That, that took 46 bucks out of the account that didn't need to come out. But we'll be ready again on Tuesday. And then the rest of the week, maybe Wednesday we'll be trading here, but rest of the week we'll be in Vegas trading. So we'll be doing some um, 
trading remotely, going to get some golf in, and we'll be checking out the NFL draft, which will be in town as well. So if some of y'all are in Vegas, give me a shout. Drop it in the comments. Let me know what y'all going to be doing. I'll be playing golf Thursday, Friday. Actually, Friday, Saturday, Sunday is our official golf days, but I'll probably get around in Thursday as well. So hope y'all enjoyed the review, and we'll be back at it again tomorrow. Peace.